So anyway, there's some good signals and some bad signals around. I'm going to go back to the fix. Here's a very strong signal, so let's tune that one in. And then go here to this. Now we need to tune at the lower end of it. it almost tuned it in perfectly. Now notice, every time you move the frequency, watch what happens to the maximum hold. It resets it. So this is one way to use the scope. You can find the frequencies. Now you notice I'm going from 14150 to 14350. You can set that range over here under set, fixed edges, up here to around the 20 meter band and I have one that goes from 1400 to 14 megahertz to 14150, 150 to 350, and 225 to 350. So as I click in this here, there's my 14225 to 14350. I believe that's the uh, general or advanced band. This is mostly the CW band. I think if we tune that, as you can hear some of this noise. And down here, of course, is CW. There's a lot of CW down here in the low portion of the band. I don't understand this mode at all or why anybody cares about it. Okay. That could be just an AM station. I'm going to change this from 14 to 14150. I'll just hit hit this uh, grid again. Now I'm going to go in the uh, mostly voice band. See what this is. Look at it in the center mode. Now if I click on this bottom end, pretty much tunes it in immediately. So that's how you use the scope. And uh, you notice when I click on the mouse, I'm not getting a lot of beeps. If you want to change that, that's a different function here in this set mode thing. Um, oh, if you've ever noticed that you don't have squelch control, watch this. Notice how that uh, squelches out the signal. And also I can change the audio, right? If you lose that control, you go up here to set mode. And if this is not on, turn it off. Um, turn the volume up again. Squelch doesn't work. So this is one of those things in the set mode. Turn that back on again. And the beep that you normally hear when you click on a mouse I can turn that back on again. Now every time I click something, you hear the beep, which I don't care about. So let's get rid of the confirmation beep. Yeah. I do have one of those ham sticks that he's talking about. They really work very well. So we can tune this station in. This is down about, that's five, so this is one, two. Nope. 
So there's how you can use the scope. There was a trick on the set mode. Oh, and be sure when you have this button on here, if you right click on it, make sure that you have this in mic USB mode so that when you shut off this program that uh, it will go back to using the microphone. Right now we're using USB to modulate the signals. And aside from that, to shut everything down, you just click on this connect button and it disconnects from the radio. So how about that? W6FCC demonstrating the use of the Spectrum Scope.